Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, I'm your Kiwi Connection here, Kevmo7, and today I have another R9290 showdown. So I finally got my hands on a reference R9290 graphics card, and that's going to be going up against Sapphire's Tri-X non-reference R9290 graphics card. So, there's not that much difference between these two cards. Uh, they both run the same PCB, uh, more or less. Um, but the main difference is obviously in the cooler, so the reference card has the blower design cooler, uh, single fan, where the Tri-X has triple fan design, um, a little bit longer, but about the same thickness, so just a better cooling design on the card. And with that, Sapphire's also bumped up the speeds on their Tri-X, so the reference card runs at 947 megahertz on the GPU while the Tri-X has, this has been bumped up to 1040 megahertz on the uh, GPU and on the effective memory it's a similar story so the reference card runs 5000 megahertz effective memory while the Tri-X non-reference card uh, runs at 5200 so a little bit of a bump up. Now looking at both of these cards the Tri-X is a much better looking card. It just it, it looks way better. The color scheme, I like the triple fans. Um, I liked Gigabyte's Windforce card when that came out with the triple fans. Um, so I've always liked that look and it just looks awesome. The reference card just pales by comparison. Um, cost wise, now you know, is it really worth it? So in New Zealand right now you're basically paying between a hundred uh, or eighty to a hundred dollars more for a Tri X card over a reference card. Now this might change, and it might be different in your country as well. Uh, this might be less, it might be more. So I don't really like throwing price in there because it always changes, and obviously it'll change with time. Um, but it is a little bit more right now in most cases, so um, there's that to consider. Now, performance, okay? So this is what everyone wants to know. There actually isn't that much difference. So in Unigem Valley, uh, on the Extreme HD preset, saw uh, 57 average frames per second out of the reference 290 and 59 out of the Triax, so about two frames different. On Furmark, on my own settings uh, that I'll show you right now, the uh, reference 290 scored 34 average frames and the Tri-X scored 36. Now I was watching temperatures on this and the reference card was holding a pretty consistent 94 degrees the whole time so pretty up there. Well the Tri-X uh, was holding at about 77 degrees. So quite a bit different in temperatures. Now Unigen Heaven. This is the DirectX 11 everything maxed out the 290 reference scored 49.8 average frames per second and the Tri-X scored 51.9 so basically 52 you're starting to see a pattern I'm sure and OpenGL was the only funny one the reference 290 scored 30 flat and the Tri-X scored 31 flat so that was quite interesting but f you know so for the most part it's about two frames better on the Tri-X over the reference 290 and that's to be expected slightly bumped up GPU speeds, slightly bumped up memory speeds. Now acoustics wise so this is a big one. Oh I just would like to mention uh, the idle temperatures were relatively the same as well um, this is running, remember I'm running at the standard uh, default fan curves and that and fan speeds and at idle the Tri-X was sitting at 47 and the reference card sits at about 50 degrees. Now acoustics wise the reference 290 is pretty loud even on the uh, stock settings that come from AMD the maximum fan speed is 47 percent um, through on the 13.12 uh, drivers and it's just so much louder than the Tri-X. I'll uh, let you decide for yourself. So here's both cards at idle. And 
and here's both cards on load. So that load was uh, while I was doing the DirectX 11 Heaven benchmark. So there's a big difference in noise. So overall, which one would I recommend? Well, if you're not into overclocking, so you're not going to overclock the GPU, and you don't have a problem with noise, so you always wear headphones when you're gaming, you have the volume right up, and you can't really hear anything, then just get the reference to 90. Paying that extra, however much it might be, for two frames is just not worth it. However, if you are into GPU overclocking and noise is a big deal to you, then definitely go for the non-reference. It runs much cooler, it's much quieter, and you'll be able to overclock it further without it being too intrusive. And saying that, I've seen some reference to 90s overclock pretty far, but I can only speculate to how loud the card is. They must be running mega aggressive fan curves to get them up to uh, 1200 megahertz and, and things like that. So, overall, that's what I would say. I hope you enjoy this video. Um, I want to put out more showdown videos, but it's a bit hard, you know. I have to buy these graphics cards and it gets a bit expensive. But uh, let me know if you like the video and uh, what other showdowns you'd like me to do at some point, and uh, I'll see if I'd ever be able to get around to doing them. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.